Hi everybody, it's Carol from Angels here for another short demo. This is a really fun one. Now, I don't know about you, but I know for myself and you know my house, you know, every so often you get these, you know, urges to um, you know, to clean and to maybe, you know, spruce up your kitchen, spruce up your living room, whatever. But um I, I know that I have sometimes an overabundance of, um, you know, because I'll get I'll get in my head that, oh, I want to put some placemats on the table. You know, maybe you got a new clock or you you got a new, um, you know, kitchen saying that you're hanging in your kitchen. And sometimes I go in spurts and I'll get some placemats. And then, you know, I don't know, maybe six months down the road, I don't like these certain placemats and maybe I'll get more placemats. And then next thing you know, you have this major collection of placemats. So you're probably saying, where is this going, Carol? Like, wh where are you taking me? Well, what I did, I kind of came up with this. Oh, it, it was a while ago. And um, I came across them in my sewing room uh, the other day. And I said, you know what? This is going to be a great demo to share with all of you. So if you have those, you know, placemats hanging around that you don't know what to do and you don't, you know, want to use them anymore as placemats, well, I have the answer. Check these out. You can make a nice little clutch out of them. You're probably saying, seriously? Yes, of course. So this one here, um, this one I did, and, and this one I, I, I even put a, um, a magnetic snap on it. And uh, see, it's just, um, that's all it is. That is it. Um, let me take you to this camera so you can see. And then what I did, I, um, you know, for the edges, because really all you're doing is you're sewing down each, each edge. And I used a, um, a fun zigzag, which is like kind of like a, um, a like, to me it looks like a scrappy zigzag. I'm all about scrappy. I love scrappy. So here we go. I, I, I did a little bit of a different color so that it kind of pops a little bit. Eh, I might have, I'm surprised I wasn't in a yellow mood that day because that's usually my color. Uh, and then I, I even added a little bit of embroidery on it. But this was a placemat, which is just so cool. I mean, the, 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 it, it's endless what you can do with them. This is another one. I did not put a magnetic uh, snap on this one, but as you can see, it's, and then I added some of these little pom-poms. So it's just really fun for a fun night out with the girls. Um, I love the fringe right here on the edge. And there you go. You can add a nice cool button here if you want. Um, yeah, so that is that. So let's uh, go to the, well, actually, no, let's uh, hold on here. Let's go to here. So basically, what we do, all right, we're gonna take take your placemat. There is a front and a back to it. So you wanna fold it to wherever you want your top. Whoops, I must have done it this way because I kind of already folded this one like that. I like to have my top just, you know, sitting up just a, just a little bit. Um, and then you can embellish it with whatever you want. Nice button here, like a nice big bright, yellow um, flower button right here would be really cool. So basically you're just gonna take it just like that. We are, this is just so simple and it's just so fun. Imagine doing these for like, let's say you go like to the dollar store and you get a few placemats, maybe get them all the same, you get them for a dollar of course at the dollar store, and then go home, go out with your girlfriends and surprise them all with a, a clutch and you all have matching clutches. I just think it's so cool. We are going to take this over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna put it right into there. I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now, the um, machine that I'm using, like I said, I'm using a Baby Lock Accomplish. Uh, this is a straight stitch only. I happen to have this up on my demo table today. So I'm not able to do any fun different stitches with, with this particular machine. But again, take advantage of your you know, specialty stitches. Uh, definitely want to start and you know go back. You may want to reinforce it a couple of different times. And maybe even use, you know, like I always say, um, you know, a nice funky color um, thread if you feel like it. Go over onto the other side. Reinforce, there we go. I like to just reinforce maybe a couple of times at that edge because that's the one that will probably get the most um, 
the most tugging on. There we go. And there we go. That is pretty much it. And again, you can add all kinds of different embellishments on it. If you have some of these pom-poms mixed up, uh, hanging around, I'm sure you have all kinds of different stuff. I know in my sewing room, there's an overabundance of all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, make it funky, make it fun. Um, show me what you make. If you have some placemats hanging around, um, you know, try it out. Uh, this one would be really cool for anybody that uh, that might uh, cross stitch. I know uh, Mary Lou does. You may even, you know, want to do a little cross stitching on here. This is one of those weaved um, placemats. So anyway, be fun, be creative, and thank you so much for listening to Angel Short Demos, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.